Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day here in the end times in paradise in the green mountains of Vermont where I am pretty much packed up my gas sucking truck to head out of here. Before I do, I'm going to be bringing you, it is Sunday. July 15th, 2018. It's time for your heartworm pill. It's the 15th. We got to remember your heartworm pill. So I'm going to be uh, diving in. Before I head out, the last thing I will be doing is my doomsday sermon where I will be reading from James Howard Kunstler's A History of the Future, where finally I can get some glimpse of James Howard Kunstler's view of the very near future in this country. But before I dive into that, I want to dive in <clears throat> to a book I have never heard of until this very morning. And I've got to get my hands on this. And I want to thank Alert Tribes member Hugh Jazzoli. <clears throat> Hugh Jazzoli, or Hugh Jazzol, uh, however you pronounce your name, Hugh, uh, for sending me this quote from something called the Book of the Subgenius. Book of the Subgenius, which may or may not been written. I assume this is a pseudonym, J.R. Bob. Dobbs. And there you go. So it was written, where was it? Uh, 1983. We're going to go back to 1983 for today's quote of the day. And take it away. Uh, take it away, Bob. <clears throat> quote. It should be painfully obvious by now, by now, 17 plus a 35 years ago, 35 years ago, <clears throat> it should be painfully obvious by now that the world as we know it won't last too damn much longer. And what are you doing about it? Going to work or school, coming home, goofing around, what will happen to your routine when all the shit comes down on us at once? Don't you feel responsible for trying to help this endangered planet? No? Good. The fact is, it's too late. There is not a goddamned thing you, as an individual, can do about eco-disaster, nuclear death, overpopulation, and so on, things are going to hell on a fast train, and about the only thing you, or anyone else, besides the Rockefellers, can do about it is to just sit back and watch the show. Common. But remember, the end of the world may be much worse and take much longer than you thought. The mere act of sitting at home watching everything fall apart on your TV may be too much for even the stoutest brains to take. In fact, the more alert and intelligent you are, the quicker you will likely be driven to suicide by the sheer hideousness of what you will be seeing. That was a quote from the book of the sub-genius and my only response to, uh, to that quote was the only words I would change would be the last three from what you will be seeing to you are seeing. And so I'm going to wrap up today's short quote of the day and come back at you in a few minutes with a further reading from A History of the Future by James Howard Kunstler. But uh, first I must go eat some factory farmed animal for breakfast.
to fuel my day to get the hell out of paradise. Bye, guys.